न्यूजीलैंड विथ आर पायलट इंद्राणी को पायलट स्पन्ना एंड क्रू मेंबर तारिका एंड निशा नाउ ओवर टू यू इंद्राणी थैंक यू तारिका सो गुड इवनिंग गेस्ट एज यू ऑल नो दैट वी आर गोइंग टू विजिट न्यूजीलैंड टू सी अम्यूजमेंट पार्क एयरपोर्ट एंड जू so here is a short description about this country that new zealand is an island country in the southwestern pacific ocean it consists of two main land masses the north island and the south island and more than 700 smaller island covering a total area of 268021 square kilometers here you can see the picture of new zealand map So New Zealand is located in South Pacific Ocean at 41 degrees south 174 degrees east near the center of the water hemisphere In 2018 census the five most common languages in New Zealand were English Faroe Maori Samoan Northern Chinese including Mandarin and Hindi Here you can see the picture of flag of New Zealand Now we will visit to see new new to New Zealand International Airport. So first one is Auckland Airport. Auckland Airport is also known as AKL in the country's largest and busiest airport, connecting with a large number of international and domestic destinations. The airport is located twenty kilometers. the south of auckland city center from auckland city to the airport you can choose from the sky bus or a taxi service a free bus runs between the international and domestic terminals opens in new window Every the voice is not clear. Five a.m. to ten thirty. Ma'am, your Delhi. voice is not breaking. Your There voice is breaking. There is also a sign posted walk away between the approximately ten minutes. Now here are some pictures. Sir, am I audible? Hello. Your voice is breaking. Your voice is not audible to me. Your voice is breaking. Yes. Okay. So here are some pictures of Auckland Airport. Now the next is Christchurch International Airport. Christchurch Harewood Airport officially opened in on eighteen May nineteen forty and become New Zealand's first international airport on sixteen December nineteen fifty. The airport has also a third grass runway parallel to the primary runway to use by general aviation. It is located twelve kilometer to the northwest of the city centre in the suburb of Harewood. It is the second busiest airport in New Zealand after Auckland. Christchurch and Auckland are the only two airports in New Zealand that regularly handle Boeing seven forty seven and Airbus eight A three eight zero aircraft. The airport is curfew free, operating twenty four hours a day. Here you can see some picture of Christchurch Airport. Now the next is Dunedin International Airport, also known as Momona Airport, is an international airport in the Otago region of the South Island of New Zealand, serving Dunedin city and the Otago and Southland regions. Dunedin Airport is one of the international airport in Otago. The other being Queenstown International Airport. We will see it further. It is located adjacent to the village of Mamona on the Tairi Plains, approximately twenty-two kilometers southwest of Dunedin CBD. It is the fifth busiest airport in the New Zealand by passenger. Here you can see some pictures of this airport. 
now next is queenstown airport queenstown airport is located in strangton otago new zealand and serves the resort town of queenstown the airport is 8 kilometers from the queenstown cbd the airport handled 2.25 million passengers as of 2018 making it the fourth busiest airport in new zealand by passenger traffic don't annotate on my screen the airport consists of two runways one of which is paved and has a single level terminal building with nine gates i'm sharing my screen again okay So here you can see some picture of Queenstown Airport. Now we will have one video on airport. Just a minute, sharing the screen. Okay. Yes. Okay, now we will see best zoo and wildlife park in New Zealand. So first one is Brookland Zoo. Located within Brooklands Park and the right next door to the iconic Pukekura Park, Brooklyn Zoo has a nice variety of animals to interact with and enjoy. This includes farm animals, the birds in the walk through a very, squirrel monkeys, otters, meerkats and more. They also have a great playground for the kids and a coffee cart for the adults where they also sell ice creams perfect for those hot summer's days. Now can you name these animals? Anyone? Okay. First, the first uh, animal is the first animal is cotton top tamarind. Second one is black cape capuchin. Third is alpaca and fourth one is capybara. Now the next one is Hamilton Zoo. Hamilton Zoo is a family oriented attraction which will easily keep everyone entertained for a great day out. It has a very relaxing atmosphere that the animals enjoy with plenty of picnic spots and playgrounds too. The keeper talks are great and they do them for a wide range of animals. Rhinos, tigers, chimpanzees, giraffes, meat cats. These are just some of the fantastic animals you can meet and get to know. Here are some pictures of Hamilton Zoo. Now the next one is Kiwi. Mom. Yes. We are visiting New Zealand. We will share you the recording if you miss something. Okay. So Kiwi North, based in the North Land city of Wangari, Kiwi North has the only Kiwi house in the region where you can watch them carry out their daily activities like foraging for foods. The house is also home to our oldest reptile, the Totora. Uh, some 250 million years old. The other great thing about Kiwi North that it is also incorporates a number of other attractions like museum and heritage park filled with old buildings and relics from yesterday. yesterday. Here you can see some picture of Kiwi North. So the next one is Orana Wildlife Park. Orana is the Maori word for place of refuge. A perfect way to describe this fantastic wildlife park. They have some very special animals here, including white rhinos, tigers, cheetah, giraffe, and New Zealand's only gorillas. The experience everyone raves about, however, has to be its world famous lion encounter aboard a specially caged vehicle you will get taken into the lion sanctuary where they will climb around the cage while being fed 
it is an amazing safari like experience that will give you a new found respect for these awesome creatures here you can see picture of orana wildlife park it's amazing right you can enjoy with animal <laughs> Where animals I had seen yeah. animals Where in animals cage, but today I am seeing humans in cage. Yeah, <laughs> it's very nice. So now we will see one video on sheep. Brand, wow. Anything else? Uh, I'm sharing one fact about the New Zealand that the kiwi is not only a fruit. If you travel to Aotearoa, you must be careful when using the word kiwi, since there you use it with three different meanings in New Zealand. A dry kiwi is a person who was born in New Zealand. A kiwi bird is a bird that is also used as a national symbol. and of course there is the kiwi fruit to refer the delicious fruit so in new zealand kiwi has three meanings yeah let's go to this first one rainbows and auckland rainbows end open in 1982 and is situated in Manukau city a 20 minute drive from Auckland CBD the theme park is stacked with over 20 plus rides with impressive names such as the invader power surge crocs crew coaster and the statro spare a family oriented establishment the roller coaster and the log flume are favorites that have stood the test of time and the specially designed area called the kids kingdom is a big hit with the littles rainbows and regularly hosts special night theme uh, night time events they host night time events often to raise money for the charity which are great events to be a part of now you see some picture of rainbows and now the next is flash planet those who enjoy a bit of pirate play will get a kick out of the pirate fortress and pirate run while those keen on on water activities can enjoy the bumper boats and kayaks if you want fun without getting wet then there are dry rides including the fun carts jungle jeep and flying fox will keep you entertained It's a great summer season attraction open between the months of November to April. Here you see some picture of Splash Planet. Now the next is Velocity Valley. It's hard to know where to start here, but one of the most popular and ingenious in the speed racer. Even its name is brilliant. A speed racer is aerodynamic aerodynamic racing pod suspended on a custom built monorail type track powered by foot pedal sound a little complex but when you see it action makes perfect sense and is set up so you can race your friend in a three lap circuit it's great fun and that's only one attraction they have other include the swoop free fall extreme agro jet freestyle airbag and rotora bungee here you can see in the background that bungee jumping it's such a fun place so long as you have the energy to match now this is sweet sweet racer they call about the circuit no this is sweet racer and this is agro jet bungee jumping etc Now we will see one video on amusement on amusement park.
Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Do you want a roller coaster ride? <laughs> yes. We have one roller coaster ride for you. Are you excited? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Great. We are sharing with you. So that's all about our today's presentation. Anybody wants to share anything? Did you enjoy our today's tour? Yes. So on Monday, we will visit Poland. Poland. Yes, Poland. From which country? Poland. Keep some facts ready with you. Okay. Okay, ma'am. If you want to make any presentation on Poland, amusement park, zoo, or airport, you can do that if you are free. Okay. So that's all about our today's session. Hope you enjoy. Meet you on Monday. Bye. Bye, ma'am. Bye.